that has given me this MySQL ODBC 5.1 driver. By default, it will be a 3.1 driver that has been installed by data services. But because I installed this, I, I, I feel this is the easiest way. And if I say finish, you'll have to give an ODBC name. So for here, I'm giving a demo connection. Description is not mandatory. TCP IP server name, you can say local host. And then named pipe, it is not relevant for us. Username, whatever the users you have. Currently, you all have two users. One is clouds, uh, sorry, one is your own username which is Krishna or Hilal or, or Syed and the second one is a root username. So for those who don't have any idea about what user you have, you can always say root and give your default password here and database. It will, it will show you the list of databases that are in this particular, uh, particular uh, uh, database. So you go ahead and select whatever you want. Currently I'm doing it as demo underscore edw and say test. The connection is successful. I say OK. Now I have the demo uh, con, which is the demo connection I just created now. And click OK here. Then you are done with ODBC. When you have created ODBC, you come back to your data services, right click and say new, create a new data store. So here I am going to say it again, a demo DS. And uh, database, uh, data store type is database connection is MySQL. The moment you select MySQL, it will ask you for the version. Select uh, any version that comes up there. It should be fine. And here is the important trick. There is an ODBC administrator. If you click here, it is also going to open the same window which I showed you earlier. Because we have already created data store names here, it is not going to hurt us. So we can just uh, select it from here saying uh, demo underscore con. I don't see it here. That is funny. So if it doesn't come up there, I can go here and uh, I can select that. But you see, it is not here. The reason is, you know, I have created it brand new. It has not been refreshed automatically. So if I log in again, I should see it and I should be able to uh, uh, map it anywhere. So let me see if my assumption is correct or not. Or uh -huh. uh, is it? Mm. Uh, it is all AT&T. So if any blame, <laughs> please, please blame the AT&T connection. It sometimes uh, uh, hurts really bad, man. Sometimes in my home, I have only one bar and people keep shouting at me that you're not talk talking to us properly. But bear with me. Uh, uh, right now, I see there is a five bar, so it should not be a problem. Okay, perfect. So if if we see here, I don't see that particular uh, DSN which I created. But let me confirm if that is true or not. I go to the data uh, data source names from from my program files I, because I opened it recently. It came up here because the recent ones will be listed. And let me see here. I have the demo connection if you see here, but it was not popping up there and you also see there are two more which are in there which I don't see it here. That is kind of a funny thing with this Windows and also the driver uh, that, that got installed along with. So by default this is pointing to the drivers which it is compatible with. So no worries if you click and go there you should be able to see it. But let us check if uh, it is not coming up. I am going to exit. Always. Uh -huh. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So here, if we say new, I'm doing it right away. Because this has to happen only then you can start working. So I'm trying to show it uh, clearly. So select the database version, go here and say, go to system DSN always and say add. So when you say add, you have more options here. This is these are the two drivers I was mentioning, MySQL ODBC 5.1 and 3.3.51. So if I take 3.51 and create the connection, it is the same. 
So server is localhost and user is root. So both are one and the same except that Windows it's currently not reacting properly and see it, it, it is not showing up the demo underscore con which I created there. So we can also create from here. So whichever way you want you can always do it. There is no harm. So when you create here even you say test it, it is successful and click on OK. So that it gets registered and now you have that demo uh, connection which I have created just now. And these are all MySQL you know, ODBC drivers 3.5.1 which are compatible with the data services. So forget about whatever the ODBC I told you from administrator, do it from here. I showed you both the ways. So better you do it from here so that you have this 3.5.1 uh, drivers uh, that are compatible with data services version which is being installed on your machine. So if you say OK and you come here and pick it up and then you can give an username and password. It is the same connection information whatever you provided there but it is up to you again because if you have one more user you can always uh, give it. So I, I do have other user which I created on my mission. So I have clouds as one of the user. So he has full rights. So we should be able to uh, use that also. So th this is the way that you create a data store and uh, associate an ODBC uh, driver to it. Is it clear or you have any questions uh, on this? And you learn about this only when you do it guys. It is not uh, when I do it. You try doing it couple of times and you will you'll realize that it is not very complex. So the ODBC driver whatever you find here are a little bit different than what you find here. So I always say do it from the data services itself while creating the data store so that it makes your life simpler without any confusion. Any questions guys or else I, throw, I go with the regular flow. Syed, are you clear? Correct. All you will have to do is when you go here, create your schemas, EDW and ODS. And after you create all these tables here, whatever is given in the script files in the tutorial, then you come here and then uh, uh, create your ODBC. The only difference for you to understand, I will show you one important. Here I have the ODBC which is ODS stage, right? If I go to configure, I made the database default is OD ODS so that it points exactly to ODS so that it gets the required tables for you. Okay? It, the, it all depends on the user that you are using. Here my user is ODS and I have the password. So if I use the ODS as user because a schema owner is always uh, having rights to log it. So by default ODS is also your user. So if I use this it will list me exactly what are the tables inside the ODS. I mean always I can give the permissions to uh, browse through any other schema to any user I wanted to. That is again a database task. But what I am trying to tell you is point the database properly so that you will not have any issues. You have, I, I have more than one schemas that this guy is accessible to. He has access to training local information schema and ODS. So I picked up ODS so, so that when I go and click on this particular um, particular data store I will see all those required tables. So let me double click so that all the tables come up there. As I told you information schema is, is just uh, by default any database will have the information schema, its table space, uh, uh, its uh, administration privileges, its schemas, uh, what not. It has every information about it. So currently it has access to all the schemas and so you see here because because if you see here I have logged in as clouds and clouds is the user he has admin privilege so he can see everything but when you wanted to browse only those ODS tables you go here and get that 
uh, actually we don't see him okay though you don't see the tables getting displayed here you can always import them by table name that is the best way to do uh, import by name and type the name it is easy it will uh, it will get the correct uh, table for you and if you see owner the schema owner is the owner here so always make sure you create any table under a particular schema so that you can browse and and also get that particular uh, table by giving the owner name and the table okay it won't be that hard as you see it is very simple when when you when you try to do it you will feel it very comfortable and easy okay can i proceed with the rest of the things guys okay so if you don't have any questions from the earlier class whichever i showed you like the type to dimension we saw the history preserving by type to dimension we saw the table comparison comparing two tables and then getting the right data out and we also saw validation and case transport that's what we saw in the earlier class and this is the particular job which i used to um, uh, show you all this so if you see in the validation i had some example that i say pass then put it here fail then put it in a different table and in the case statement if you see i have given more than one condition so that it can route the data to more than one tables here so that's what we saw in the earlier class. So this time I wanted to show you two important things. There are few more transformations which also we will have to look into. And there are few more sources that we will have to also understand. As part of the class as I told you, I also, uh, I was following the tutorial and there is something where we stopped earlier is creating a customer dimension table from a relational, relational database. After that, we have an XML file. I will also cover that because in the recent days, XML file has become a very important uh, uh, source because a lot of data keep coming from uh, web-based applications. So you get the data in the form of XML. Or if you are using SAP as a source, even uh, you can get the data in an XML format, which is the which is the DDT DTD. Sorry, <laughs> DTD is a data type definition. So that's also kind of a flat file or a text file, which is the output from an SAP uh, SAP uh, source. So we'll also go through the XML uh, files and create a uh, job using the XML files today. Beyond that, what I wanted to cover today is I want to I want to give you more transformations because in tutorial nowhere they cover all the transformations, but then tutorial or the technical manual will be really helpful for you. Try to look into that, the help part of it, so that tutorial is only a basic thing, but the technical manual, which I, I was always telling, this one is very important. Uh, did someone ping me? Had a question? Okay, someone is trying to chat with me. Okay. Mm, Ashok had some internet issues and so he's going to log back in. That's fine. And so now what we are going to do is, as we have created some of the transformation, I'm going to even do more. Currently we see we have ended at the case transformation last time. So I'm going to continue the same flow. I I, I can still keep the, the transformations whatever is existing here because I was creating some template tables.